Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Today I would like to teach you how to balance the following chemical equation of potassium plus water yields potassium hydroxide plus hydrogen gas. So uh, what we're going to do is we literally look at the first element uh, that we see on the left-hand side, and we have potassium. Now the subscript of potassium will tell us how many potassiums we have, so it looks like we have only one potassium on the left-hand side. Remember the left-hand side is divided uh, or indicated by the uh, position relative to that yield sign. So the left is on that side and the right is on that side. On the right-hand side, we only have one potassium as well, and therefore potassium is balanced. Remember the subscripts tell us the number of atoms. So that's cool. The next element I see is I see hydrogen, but I'm actually going to skip hydrogen for now in terms of its balancing. And the reason being is because hydrogen is located in one uh, compound on the left, but it's located in two compounds on the right. I want to save anything like that for the end. Okay, so I'm going to skip that. I'm going to move on to the oxygen. There's one oxygen on the left, and there's also one oxygen on the right, and it's only located in one compound on the left and the right. So that's balanced already. But now i got to come back to the hydrogen. You might say, well, why did you skip it? Well, I skipped it because that's the process. I did not know. Well, I did kind of, but I'm going to assume I didn't know ahead of time that oxygen was going to work out that way, but that's how I would approach it, okay? Because maybe it won't. And I promise it'll make your life easier if you save these guys for the end. Now, hydrogen, we have to balance the hydrogen. Remember, we have two on the left. And I mentioned that we have three on the right because there's one coming from this compound here and there's two coming from that compound over there. Now, you want to think about this. Where do you want to place your coefficient? Do you want to place it in front of this, in front of this, or in front of this? What do you think? The best place to place it would be in front of the H2. And the reason why is because it'll only affect whatever this is. It's only going to affect your hydrogen value. Everything else is balanced, right? So whatever coefficient you want to place there, you're literally going to take that and multiply it by the subscript okay, of that hydrogen. So you actually just create a very simple math equation. okay? So now this is going to just going to be 2 is equal to 1 plus 2x. How do you solve this thing for x? Subtract 1 on both sides. That's going to be 1 is equal to 2x. Divide that by 2. All right, and then x is going to be equal to 1 half. Now you're like, oh my god, he gave me a fraction, right? Now, the reason why I gave you a fraction is not, be, not to make it harder, but it actually does make it easier because you have a process to follow. Okay, don't be afraid of fractions. Embrace them. So now this is going to be a 1 half, okay? Now, technically, everything is balanced, but you're not finished, okay? And the reason being is because you can't have fractional coefficients, but the reason why the fraction is going to help you is because now it's going to tell you whatever the denominator is of your fraction will tell you what you need to multiply all of the coefficients by. Now remember, if there's nothing there, it's an invisible one. Okay, So I have to multiply this coefficient by 2, and 1 times 2 is just simply going to be a 2. right? So erase it and plug in a 2. This is also going to be 2. right? This is also going to be 2. And whatever is in the numerator here, is going to be the remaining value because one half times two is only one, right? And now, lo and behold, this is now your balance equation. You can put in that one if you want, but you don't have to. But that's all it is. You can follow this process on any problem you like, all right? So hopefully that helps. And if it does, give us a hand, like, subscribe, maybe we tell some of your classmates, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.